Hey you guys, I am giving the week four update and probably beyond this point, I'll just like, okay, we're calling it a month, it's a month in. So I'll go next time, it'll be like another month, two months in. Uh, so four weeks or one month in with the Orbera balloon. Uh, this past week I lost, <laughs> It's going between two to three pounds, like one minute saying three pounds. The next morning I get on there and it's like, no, you only lost two. Ha ha, I was joking. Okay, well, so anyways, the total I'm down between anywhere between 15 to 16 pounds. Uh, and uh, I really feel like I'm, I mean, I know I have a balloon in my body, but I'm working for that. I am doing five days a week uh, of brisk walking. This week I added two days of strengthening, um, just doing a video here at home with some light weights and oh my god, I'm sore. Um, but I really feel like I'm working for it. So I know, I mean, for in, let me give an example of why I'm saying that. Because on Tuesday here in Arkansas, we have something called Sonic. All right, so went to Sonic. Tuesday is half price burger day. So I was like, okay, that's cheap dinner for my family because, oh, by the way, I don't cook. Okay. So anywho, um, got burgers for everybody. Um, I got myself a burger. I did exactly what my doctor said. Cut it in half. I put wrapped the other half, put it away. I ate that half of a burger. Uh, try to do it as slow as possible. Um, I could have easily still finished the other half. I didn't, and I gave it about another 10 minutes or so, and then somehow after a slow progress my brain said oh guess what now you're full 10 minutes later i would have had that burger done done uh but i put it away and i waited so that wasn't the balloon though that was me so i'm like okay i'm gonna take that credit um so that's an example um i let's see not as full as i used to be like like just a week and a half ago, a week ago, um, or yeah, I was talking about a week ago and I tried that intermittent fasting and I made it to noon and I was like starving and I ate a couple of shrimp and I was full fast. Um, not getting as full, not uh, as fast or whatever. Um, but I'm just stopping, even though I'm not full, I would say that I still have a smidge bit of some hunger left there, but I'm stopping and for some reason in my brain, it takes a little while to trigger, oh, you didn't have to eat all that. You're full. So I'm, I'm stopping uh, before before the full filling, before, way before the full filling. And then it's catching up with me and it is working. Um, again, I don't think that's the balloon. It can't be. That's me. Uh, I'm proud of that. Um, do I mess up? I, I'm doing good. I am proud of myself. I am doing good. But like... Um, it's 93 degrees outside. It's a heat index of 100 degrees. And I just had me an ice cream cone. Now, I programmed it in my phone. Because everything that I eat, everything, I'm tracking. Uh, it was 46 grams of carbs for that one ice cream cone. That sent me a little bit over my limit. Just a little bit. Uh, especially since I'm trying to do a low-carb diet. But, um... I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Oh, Lord, that light. Mm -mm. Anyways, can't zoom in there either, huh? So for today, what's that? I've had 102 grams of carbs. Go me! That's a no-no. But it's cool because I honestly have been doing really, really, really good. Really good. Um, and like what I posted... A little while ago, you to the ladies on um, the website is or the Facebook is that I said, you know, sometimes we have to give ourselves grace. Um, grace can be a wonderful thing in all walks of life, and and that is, you know, towards ourselves when we mess up. Or I really don't feel like I messed up. I, I wasn't craving. I wasn't. I was just like, it's freaking Hades outside. I'm gonna have me an ice cream cone. It wasn't a big deal, though. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it. I wasn't, prob no problems. Uh, again, I monitor everything that I'm doing in and out with the, the Fitbit app. Um, the, my, as I say, I wear a Fitbit, and then I use the MyFitnessPal 
to it converts it somehow gets my uh, gets my uh, exercise calories I log all my food intake in there if it's I don't, I'm tell, oh, uh, I had one piece of General Sow chicken the other day. I logged that one piece. I don't care. I want to do it because I want to be held accountable for it. Um, I had someone post a question on one of my videos. Amanda, what do you do when you're hungry? All right, girls. If you had the Orbera balloon, you know what it's like to be hungry because we all got here for the same reason, right? We ate too much. Um, I, me personally, I feel like I'm probably gonna have to fight my entire life with the hunger feeling. Um, but what am I doing right now? If I feel hungry, number one, I'm drinking water real quick. Cause like maybe, maybe I'm not hungry. I know that sounds crazy, but maybe if I can drink some water, maybe it was just thirst. Maybe, you know, maybe my body screwed up. It has, it has worked in some occasions. So I'm gonna drink water. Uh, number two is I'm trying to um, get my mind off of it. So go for a walk. Uh, and my last resort is I, I'm not letting myself get too hungry. That's where I used to mess up before the balloon and everything is that I would used to do wonderful, uh, at work. I would do like, well, I thought I was doing wonderful, but anyways, I would do a protein shake for breakfast. I would do a salad with meat for lunch and between two and 4 PM, I think I've already said this before between two and 4 PM before the balloon, I was ready to tear the house down. I mean, I was hungry. And that's where I screwed up. I would I would get home by 5, 5, 5.30, and it's all, and I'm going to have to eat something. So my, uh, is not, and my doctor also agrees, do not let yourself get to that hunger. So, uh, so my last resort, if I've tried water and I've tried occupying my mind on something else, then um, I'll do a protein shake. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, other than that, for this week... Uh, some people think that, oh, I'm out of the clear. Like yesterday, out of the blue, um, I started having um, gastric cramping. Like terrible, terrible, terrible cramping. Um, I, almost, I was almost in tears. I was using heating pads. I was alternate, like on my hands and knees in my bed. I was trying to get up and walk in my bedroom uh nothing really i can't tell you what what makes it go away time i mean i, I tried everything i can think of last night um i i don't even have any antispasmatics left um from the uh, post procedure but i do have refills on that so i looked at that i'm going to call that in today um I think, uh, all in all, so so 16 or 15 to 16 pounds in four weeks, could I have lost more? Yes, I see a lot of the ladies on Facebook losing more, and I'm super proud of them. I think if I was stricter on the carbs, because some of them are doing like, what is it, less than 20-something grams of carbs per day. And remember, carbs are not just bread. It comes in... I mean, my shake has the carbs, some for like four grams of carbs. I mean, it comes in everything, so you have to be really, really careful. Um, but I think if I was stricter on that, uh, following the uh, keto diet, that, yeah, I, I probably would have lost probably 20. Um, I don't think I'm ready for that mindset yet. I, I want to be very, very careful that I don't set myself up for failure. Because, again... I have been on as many diets as, I mean, I've been dieting, this is like 12 years old. So, we got 20 something years of dieting here. Expertise. But I fail because I, I almost set myself up for failure. So, I don't think that I can do that at this moment. Um, and maybe I will later, but not right now. Uh, the only other thing is that I'm losing weight in different areas. I don't know if anybody else is doing that. You guys let me know. Maybe it's going to catch up. Maybe. Uh, I'm not trying to, to show anything, but like the, the where, I don't even know if I can show you, where I'm losing, I'm really short, I'm like a little dinosaur arms. Sorry. Okay, so where I'm losing the weight is posterior, the back of my thighs. Yeah, pretty much. The back of my thighs, my scrub, scrub um, backs are getting really loose. 
kind of looks a little weird. Um, <coughs> I notice I notice a little bit in my uh, abdomen, and of course the tatas are gonna go. Uh, can't think of anything else. Anything else? And it's probably just from my me walking. So I've been walking a lot, and that's just maybe where I don't know. That's maybe that's where it's gonna be at. Um, anyways, it's already been on this thing too long. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And it'll probably be a month or so before I update you guys because, I mean, we're at week four. I don't want to keep, you know, each week unless something significant happens. All right. God bless. You guys take care.